Hi, my name is Barbara Friedberg, and I'm a former portfolio manager and former university investments instructor. Today, we're going to be discussing the Roth IRA offered at M1 Finance. Before we begin, let's clarify about a Roth IRA. It is a type of account. It is not an investment, but it's an account and you can invest within this type of account. It is offered and available at M1 Finance, as well as a host of other types of investment companies additionally. So before we get going, let's discuss whether you should open a Roth IRA account. First off, I've got to say I love the Roth IRA. And if you are eligible, I would say contribute the maximum amount allowable by law because your money can, can grow and compound very, very well while in the account. So the benefits of a Roth IRA are that you are investing monies that you have already paid tax on. That money can grow tax-free until you withdraw the money in retirement. So that means when you earn tax, when you earn capital gains, dividends, no taxes on that. And additionally, when you withdraw the money in retirement, you pay no taxes on that money as well. Now, if it sounds too good to be true, well, there are a few caveats. There are limits on income el eligibility. You can contribute the full amount if you earn as an individual up to 130,000 or as a couple up to 206,000. If you earn more than that, there is a phase out period. And there's also limits on the amount you can contribute. And these usually change on a year by year basis. While in 2020, the threshold is you can contribute up to $6,000 a year, which is not bad and then up to $7,000 a year if you're over age 50. So why am I so crazy about the M1 Finance Roth IRA? First of all, let me say that I have an account with M1 Finance and I fund that account. I have a Roth IRA account, but I'm not eligible to fund that at the present time. So that being said, Let's talk about what's so great about M1 Finance. They have no management fees. They offer over 6,000 different types of investments. They rebalance your investments back to your preferred asset mix at any, any time you put more money into the account. They also offer pre-made investment portfolios. So you can go in and choose a portfolio perfectly designed for with a mix of stocks and bonds for the target year that you're ready to retire. And we'll look at these in just a minute. But let's say you also want to do some buying and, buying and selling of individual stocks or funds. M1 Finance offers that as well. Next, we're going to look at why you want to invest in your Roth IRA and how much money, how much your money can grow over time. So we're now visiting bankrate.com Roth IRA calculator. And you'll notice that we've put in some assumptions here. We assume that we are age 29, that we have not started contributing to our Roth IRA yet, but we intend to contribute five thousand dollars a year we're planning on retiring at age 65 and we assume we will earn an average seven percent return on our contributions and we will also assume that we are in the 25 percent marginal tax rate so with those assumptions starting at age 29 at age 65 your account is worth $796,000. You have contributed only $180,000. So this is pretty impressive, and I hope this will motivate you to open a Roth IRA account if you are eligible. Now, if you, 
use these same assumptions, but invested the same amount outside of a Roth IRA account and just invested in a traditional taxable account, those investments would have grown to about a half a million. Look, that's not bad. I'm not complaining about that, but you could have earned almost $300,000 more if you invested in the Roth IRA. If you are sold, then let's look at how M1 Finance works for you. M1 Finance is an investment app. As I mentioned before, they offer free investment management. And we will start first off, if you are a DIY investor and you want the opportunity to buy and sell stocks, you have a choice of 3,860 different stocks from which to choose. If you want help crafting your portfolio, you can use these filters to help you pick the stocks that are right for you from market capitalization, PE ratio, and dividend yield. I know a lot of investors like divid high dividend stocks, and you can screen them right here. But let's say you're more of a DIY fund investor. You have a similar screen right here where you can pick and choose different investment funds. I personally like the SPY, which is just a diversified index investment fund that copies the Standard & Poor's 500. And you can filter in the same way that you could with the stocks. Now, if you would prefer not to do any stock picking, but you want to jump right into a pre-made investment portfolio, and One Finance can help you with that as well. So if you're thinking about retirement, you can just hop on over to the Plan for Retirement Choices. And there are, as you can see, I think there are, there are a lot of portfolios here. And they are structured to be crafted according to the date that you're expecting to retire. So right now it's 2020. If you think you're going to retire in 10 years and you're a conservative investor, you might say, oh, I think I'll go with the 2030 conservative portfolio. And you can see right here that the dividend yield for that portfolio is 2.36%. It has a five-year return of 42.63%, and the risk is medium to low. If you click on this, you can see how it's performed since August 2017. And you can read about the investments within that portfolio and notice that it's extremely diversified. There are a lot of different funds. And the important thing to realize when you're investing in a retirement portfolio such as this, as your retirement date goes close, closer, the actual investments within this fund are also going to switch so that it will become more conservative over time. And of course, if you don't like that, that particular fund and you want to choose a different expert pie that's pre-made, you can choose from a general investing, socially responsible, a portfolio focusing on dividends, and a simple stock and bond portfolio. Now, finally, we're going to wrap up with how to actually sign up for the M1 Finance uh, Roth IRA. And then we will discuss a couple of pre-made questions that have been asked by others. So all you have to do to open an account with M1 Finance is you click on this link here and we'll include this in the show notes. It takes you right to the onboarding procedure. Then they'll ask you what type of account do you want? You just click on retirement account and you choose Roth IRA. You only need $500 to start opening your account. 
you link your bank accounts, and those are the accounts that will transfer the money right into M1 Finance, and you pick your investments, and you are done. You can change your investments at any time, and M1 Finance has a concierge that will help you with the process. Here are a couple of questions that individuals have asked about the M1 Finance Roth IRA. Does M1 Finance work? And this is my favorite. M1 Finance will manage and rebalance your investments. You can invest in a wide range of type of accounts with many distinct investments. And as we have previously shown, investing is a wonderful way to build your wealth for retirement. M1 Finance is an investment company. It is not an IRA. And as we know, yes, M1 Finance does have a Roth IRA. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my podcast. Below, you will get a link to this comprehensive M1 Finance Roth IRA review article to learn more. There will also be a sign up button or sign up link so that you can go directly to the M1 Finance platform and sign up. If you do use the link below, it is an affiliate link. I will get a small commission that will help me fund this video and my website. Thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you next time.